and give a reason why aluminum is suitable for each use like use one what can what could be use one for for aircraft bodies for electrical cables aircraft for low density lightweight okay yeah so you can mention accordingly yeah cooking uh, basically food container no you can have aluminum pots as well that's right food container you can mention because it resists corrosion does not rust okay in this question yeah overhead cables because it's a good electrical conductor and low density that's right uh, question 6 aluminum is extracted from aluminum oxide by electrolysis why aluminum not reacted or heated with al carbon why aluminum oxide is not heated with carbon what's the reason or why aluminum is not extracted by heating with carbon not about stable to heat actually in you are not directly heating yeah, because it is aluminum is more reactive yeah carbon is less reactive that there is no reaction because carbon is less reactive or aluminum is more reactive than carbon so simply you can write aluminum is more reactive than carbon that's the reason why we don't use carbon to separate the aluminum from aluminum oxide yeah that's also right it will not displace uh, this part is related to ionic bond now in the next part aluminum can be extracted by electrolysis using the operator so you can see this operator as uh, i also drew in explanation name type of the particle responsible for transfer of charge in the wire in the wire what particle will move yeah that's right electrons and within the electrolyte so you can mention ions positive and negative ions or you can mention ions that's also acceptable give two reasons why cryolite is used why we use a cryolite like aluminum dissolve in a cryolite what's the purpose of the cryolite here in this it increase the conduction reduce the melting point reduce the melting point that's one thing so yeah it concentrate the ore greater percentage or amount of aluminum increase conduction as a solvent lower the melting point increase the concentration of aluminum in the ore you can mention that write ionic half equation for formation of aluminum so formation of aluminum aluminum is a positive ion it take electron three electrons change to aluminum metal explain how carbon dioxide is formed at anode three marks 
So how you will score these three marks? How carbon dioxide is formed at anode? How CO2 is given off at anode? So first thing you will mention, the oxygen is made at anode or oxygen ions uh, move towards anode from oxygen gas. And anode are made up of carbon and that anode or carbon react with oxygen result in a formation of carbon dioxide. So you can see an, a very simple answer and you will score three marks. So oxygen react with carbon from graphite at anode due to high temperature you can also mention because at low temperature the reaction is not possible. So at high temp, due to high temperature. Or you can mention this as well. Oxidize means they lose electron from oxygen, which react with carbon graphite from carbon dioxide. Or this could be the answer as well. Oxygen ions are oxidized. form gas and that reacted with carbon to form carbon dioxide. Next question, when a piece of aluminum is placed in a dilute hydrochloric acid, there is no immediate visible reaction, like we don't see a reaction occur. But if aluminum is left in a dilute hydrochloric acid for several hours, the bubbles start to form. Explain why aluminum does not react immediately with dilute hydrochloric acid. What could be the reason why there was no immediate reaction? Why there's no immediate reaction of aluminum with acid? Like you don't observe bubbles are really given off. So because of protective oxide layer or it is protected by oxide layer or due to presence of less reactive aluminum oxide that prevent an immediate reaction, that's correct as well. So these are the questions related to extraction of uh, aluminum. So today we discuss how aluminum can be extracted from its ore. Next period, we'll discuss extraction of iron, zinc, and at the last, lead. Any doubt related to the class today?